The third grazing is a system we're using which is a standing forage crop which is used instead of big bales. Grass kept which is late summer to the autumn which is then grazed during the winter months for the forage for the sheep. Well, we're very unusual here in that we don't use any fertiliser um, and we don't conserve any, any harvest at all. So what we try to do is to keep enough of our summer grazing as deferred grazing which then is grazed during the autumn months into the winter. So we've got a field here of grass which hopefully in a month's time will be ready for sheep to come on. The grass qualities here is pretty good with um, clover and uh, rye grasses but there's nothing being ploughed here during the last 20 years so we're on old pastures and um, we've got quite happy with the quality of grasses we've got here at the moment. Well we choose deferred grazing because of the ever increasing cost in fertiliser and also in oil which is um, related with the plastic in, the, in big baling and wrapping. So we're having to now go in with a topper and the fields where it's go to head early in end of July or early August will have to be topped. So we have to go around chasing all the, the extra grass and to, to check it, see if it's going to head and then that then is rested from then onwards from probably August on until perhaps end of December, even January or February before it's then grazed again. An interesting thing we did last year um, was that we, we checked other people in the area's silage compared to our deferred grazing in January and we found that uh, there's a lot of similarities with the D value but the, and the ME but what we did find that the protein was actually slightly higher on the grasses here than on some of the big bales. To compensate for, it, for, for the energy is that we, the, the feed blocks then have to come in and we have to feed them with quite a high spec block really just to get the energy back for the twin bearing use especially after, after scanning and especially when it gets close to lambing. As we can see there's a very small percentage of, of ryegrass has gone to head so within another month we will see four times to five times more heads as we've got here now which, which then will be able to be of the, of the right height to withstand the sheep being here to graze. Well we're in, into the beginning of October now and the ewes are due to come in here with, within the next few days. Now the grass quality here now is exactly how I would like it to be. We've got enough heads here which is going to increase the, the dry matter of the grass. We've got the clover coming through with the grasses as well. But there's going to be enough green stem and green grasses for the sugars and things for the sheep to get enough protein from the grasses and for them to have enough fibre from the grasses, from the heads as well. As we get more dead material in the bottom, the quality of the grasses gets poorer. But even here we still have quite a good green to the bottom. There is more yellow coming in with the dead grasses. But during the winter, as the sheep graze it, they'll graze the best quality grasses first and then they'll utilise the poorer grasses after and more of the heads and things, more towards January and February when there'll be more of the demand for, for roughage to supplement the blocks.